What's up guys, Justin here from justthisgood.com. Have you ever grabbed your favorite t-shirt out of the closet and you noticed that the print was starting to crack? Well, it sucks in real life, but it's a cool looking effect in Photoshop. So let me show you how to do it. So we're in Photoshop and the photo that I'm using should look familiar. It's actually just a really close up picture I took of one of a gray t-shirt that I own. So, and I'm gonna use it to help you visualize, but you can use anything you want. So the next thing we wanna do is grab our text tool and pick our font. The font that I'm using is just called College, and I found it on dafont.com, great website. I'll link to it um, in my website, justthisgood.com, for the post for this tutorial. So this is like the classic t-shirt text, but there's tons of fonts like this. The next thing I'm going to do is double click on my text layer and I'm going to make sure I set it to white. You can use any color you want, of course. And also I'm going to right click on my text layer and select blending options and I'm going to add a stroke to it. And I want it to be a pretty thick stroke. Also the position, I don't like using inside because then it kind of eats away at your text. I like using outside or center. In this case, I like center, and I'm just going to use a size of, of about 14. All right. Lastly, while the text tool is still open, the text tool. Anyways, while the text tool is still open, we're going to create warped text. Photoshop gives you a bunch of cool styles already pre made. So we don't want to go too overboard with it like that, but you can use any of these that you like like wave or whatever I'm gonna use arc but I'm gonna turn down the bend a lot so only to about 20 percent lastly we're gonna grab our move tool here and we're just gonna feel around until Photoshop tells us we're at the middle with those little purple crosshairs so now we're at the center and we have our black and white text everything positioned how we like Make sure you do because now we're just going to duplicate this layer all the way up here. And we'll go ahead and just hide our original layer. If we need to go back and work on it, we will because now we're going to get a little bit destructive and convert this. Oops, not convert to a shape, sorry. We're going to convert it to a smart object. There's so many menu options when you right click. But we're going to convert it to a smart object and what that does is it takes all of our layer effects like the stroke and kind of flattens them and then we're also going to rasterize the layer so now we can edit it in any way we want again a little bit destructive because now we can't edit the text but you can always go back and start over so next thing we're going to do is go to layer new layer or shift command n is the shortcut and Make sure your colors are reset back to black and white by clicking this little square here. And we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Looks like we just covered everything up, but bear with me. You'll see where I'm going with this. Now we're going to go to Filter, Render, Fibers. We're going to use a variance of, let's say, about 5 and a strength of about 50. You can randomize it a few times if you like, but I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then now we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. Make sure you check Legacy. And we're going to turn the contrast up about 50. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select all, that, all the black lines in Photoshop. So we're going to go to Select, Color Range. And we're going to take the ink dropper. I don't trust myself with, with the ink dropping it off the canvas. So we're just going to go straight to what we know is jet black right here. And we're going to click fuzziness. We'll just use about 100. So we've got our selection. Now we can hide this layer. And you can see where I'm going with this. One more thing you can do is go to select. If you didn't know, there's this little modify tool where you can always kind of adjust the selection you just made. And what we'll do is we'll smooth it by just 
one or two pixels. I'll use one. Now we're going to highlight our original text layer. We're going to select any one of these selection tools will work. And we're going to right click on the layer and use layer via cut. So what that does is now we have our splices on one side and our original text on the other. And now what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn the opacity down to about 90. I'll go to edit, transform, and you'll use scale. Oh, I can't hardly see my bounding box. Okay. And then I'm going to hold shift, alt, and I'm going to drag it down just a tiny bit. So as you can see, if I get up real close, I created a kind of a chipping effect on the text, which is kind of the effect you want. But for some reason, my selection, I didn't get that much of a selection from this. So all you'd have to do is repeat the process one more time. Hide that layer, click our original text layer, layer via cut. And again, turn down the opacity a little bit. And I'll use Command T to transform and just drag it in a tiny bit. You can even use the move tool and just use your arrow keys on your keyboard and go left and right a little bit or up and down. But there you go. Since since the fibers tool is a little bit random, you're gonna have to experiment with it. But I think this looks pretty great, especially on some areas like the X. Um, if some areas like the T kind of get a little too digital looking, you can always go back on your original layer and use the eraser tool to kind of get rid of some of that choppiness. But overall, that's how you get a cracked text effect in Photoshop. And from here, use your imagination and you can use all the other different kind of colors and blending modes. Um, maybe if you're designing like a vintage t-shirt or something. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't put you guys to sleep this time. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see or if you liked the video. And also check me out on justthisgood.com. My Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is all just this good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.